Hello, my name is Kobe Brocksmith, representing the Austin Public Charter School for Journalism Program. We are live here today at the Convention Center in Washington, D.C., welcoming the veterans, hosted by the D.C. Housing Authority. We also have cosmetology program led by Ms. Massey, giving haircuts to the veterans. Here with us today, we have the JRTC Color Guards from Austin Public Charter School with the opening performance. Come with us while we cover this wonderful event. Hello again, I'm here with one of the JRTC leaders, Mr. Colonel Johnson. So Mr. Johnson, I gotta tell you, your, your team, they did a wonderful job. Everybody was in sync. I liked it, it in the performance. Do you have any remarks? Yeah, it was, you know, when a team comes together and do something, and while we're here at the convention center, we're doing something for a great cause, giving back to the veterans who have served us. So, you know, and I think our team came together and they performed well. Interesting. Would you say the JROTC program would help better a student's life, life choices? Yeah, you know, Junior ROTC is not here for recruiting soldiers. It's here to help the students better their life. No matter what they want to do, uh, you know, we, we talk about discipline, we talk about finances, we talk a whole a myriad of different things for them to do to help them become better citizens to live, you know, once they leave option. Because once you leave options, you know, especially the seniors, they're on their own. So we're here to prep them for life after options. Well, here you have it with JRTC leader, Colonel Johnson. Please stay tuned in for more Journalism TV. Hello, my name is Kobe Brockton. Here with me today, Ms. Massey, the leader of the Broadburn program. So, Ms. Massey, how do you think your students did today? Perfection. That's the number one word that I can say. Uh, my favorite saying that I learned for today is war ready. We are prepared for challenges that we may face. We are prepared for competition that we may endure. I am very proud of my gentlemen um, that are here today. These are my advanced barbering students. When we came in, we of course thought that we were going to be the only barbering program that's going to service the vets. Fortunately, which I can honestly say, we have another school that is here with us. Very good um, students that they have at their location. Um, and I am enlightened that my students can even just take with 
themselves, just the information that they are learning just um, with the veterans and then they're also um, comparing those with the other students and then to see, you know, that, oh, you don't have to be intimidated. We're prepared for any challenges. I'm so proud of my, my babies, my scholars. They came in today. They set up automatically. Everything that I taught them, they perform, they execute it, they direct, and they do take leadership. And they know that competition is never going to be a problem. They turn around and they see competition and they killed it. <laughs>